Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set review. Today we are looking at set number 76950. This is the Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush. It has 210 pieces and is retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. Now this is actually an exclusive to Walmart, which means that you have the option to either get it at Walmart or you could buy it from LEGO Shop at Home or LEGO Stores, which is where I picked up my copy. I actually spent last week going around to a ton of different Walmarts and it turns out it looks like it's only online, at least here in Canada. However, I'm not sure what that is in the US. Um, it was up for pre-order, I believe, at both sites. And these are actually on back order, I guess, just because of the pre-orders and how popular this set is. So if you want to secure a copy, use the links down below. And this is my first Triceratops, so I'm excited to take a look at this set. So I like starting with the dinosaurs with each of the sets, and like I just said, I've never had one of these before. So uh, I was really shocked by just how thin uh, this part of the head was. Like, that is so thin there. I'm really shocked by how sturdy that really is. I don't think anything is new here in terms of molds, uh, but the printing, however, is all brand new. The mouth does not open. There is no closing feature. However, you can actually, if you want to, I'm going to take the carrot stick there and actually just feed it on through so that you could see that the mouth can actually hold on to like a branch or a twig or something like that. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting if you wanted to do that. Um, and it's pretty easy to just remove. I also found really fascinating is that the legs are different sizes. The back ones are actually a lot larger. You could see just the height there, the difference between the two. So I love the pattern of this. It's really great. I think that is dark red. It's not dark brown but it looks really awesome. I love the patterns and everything. Looking at the eyes there, you can see as well, it is actually an exclusive print, and that's something we've been saying throughout all the reviews, is that I really appreciate when they go the extra mile and they don't just copy the pattern, they actually design a new one. So you can definitely see that there's no scratches or marks there on that eye. On this one, you've got that, and then even here, like, the whole pattern there is different. <laughs> Spinning it around here on the back, just gonna try and memorize that. It is even different here on the back. You could see the torso scratches and how they're different on that side and how that leg has some scratches there. And uh, I think, yeah, the legs in the front, they are the same, but that's fine. I will say the only complaint that I have here is that when printing on the dark gray, you can notice that it's actually a little bit faded. Like that's meant to be the tan color there. Same with here on the top. It's a little bit more faded versus the regular tan but that's fine, like that's just what happens when you print on dark gray. And the tail, it's all like one piece here. And the head can rotate, as well as just to give you a sense of like how much articulation you get with the legs. You can kind of have it stand up, however like it'll fall down. But there's a lot that you can do, you can even have it kind of lying down there if you want. And uh, on the back you do have a total of six studs. And here's the pickup truck. It's fine. It does have a play feature, which is one up over the other pickup truck that we get in a different set. Um, we are going to do a video actually taking a look at all these all together eventually, uh, closer to the release of the movie. But until then, you can go and look at that review if you want. But you'll notice here, this actually has a really cool play feature, which is what I want to start with. So what you could do is you could have either the Triceratops not moving and then hold it still, and you drive this into it and the front hood of the car actually completely lifts up, which I really think that's just such a cool play feature. So what that does is when you push on the grill here, it will move this slope piece there into this ingot that's sitting underneath and it'll launch the top of the hood. So I think that's a really cool play feature there, um, but I'm gonna close that back up. You can see the front here, just how detailed it is. I like the lights, kind of wish there was something there, um, even if it was like just enough to go up to the top of the slopes but it's fine the wheels i like the wheel wells and everything like that you do have a light there on this side which you can remove and easily put it on the other side if you want to do that and uh, in the back you kind of have like a spot for a couple of different minifigures maybe a dinosaur but uh none of the ones of course the only one in here is the triceratops and that's definitely not fitting there i don't like the wheel well it's not as nice as the other pickup truck unfortunately the back it's fine, got some lights there. Now on the inside, you've actually got uh, quite a bit of room on the inside, but really you can only fit one figure since they are having to steer from the center there. I just thought maybe it was important to show you what it looks like with the figures uh, sitting in the back there. Uh, you can kind of attach that if you want to, putting it inside of that hole. Now the only other complaint that I have about this is like the colors. You can kind of see a lot. 
in between the gaps like you could see the red and the white there in the front also like there's just dark gray there for some reason and you've got medium nougat as well you've got the tan wheel wells it's just a little all over the place with the color scheme i think that like that should have been light gray that should have been black or something like that and that should have been dark gray i don't know there's just there's a lot of weird colors here maybe it's meant to be mud i don't think so and here is the little buggy, and I'm not sure, color scheme wise, there's not really any vehicle besides the dark green, which is from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I guess they're the ones, like, trying to, like, wrangle up all of the different dinosaurs, give them a safe home. Uh, so maybe that's where that's from. You've got a bit of, like, the bright green from that 4 Plus set, but I don't really know. Uh, it does drive very smoothly, and there's two spots for minifigures. You could put one in the front there, and then you've got Claire with the stick with the carrot on it, trying to, I guess, lure uh, the Triceratops after the buggy. Here we have Claire Deering, and it's great because she has an exclusive outfit, and she appears in a couple of other sets, and she has the exact same one on all of them, so I really appreciate this exclusive outfit, and she does have the carrot stick there in case you didn't get a better look at it from when I was showing it off before. But again, like I love the torso printing. I don't necessarily think the face really works for that well. That's just my personal opinion, but uh, you can see the torso printing. It's really great. It is exclusive to her, which you'll see in a second. She does have this scared expression on the back. She also got like a hood printed on the back there. And you can kind of see how they have like the lines going to show you that this is actually like a female torso because with Franklin Webb here, <laughs> Justin, uh, we actually have a different torso, but again, it's like sort of this undercover trench coat, I guess. They're maybe breaking into the facility to break the dinosaurs out. That's just my guess here, but I really love the torso printing there. Again, very detailed. Have a new face here for him, and on the back there, some more printing on there. And then if I were to remove the hair, you could see he's got this scared expression there on the back, which I think looks uh, really funny. Here's a guard. Nothing special going on. At first glance, I thought this was the same guard that appeared in the polybag, but it's a different beanie and pants and face. Anyways, he's got a trank gun there with a yellow needle, as well as this print, I think, first came in the Jurassic World wave back in the day from the first uh, sets. And then he's got this generic face there, no printing on the back of the head, and a hoodie printed on the back. And here is the second guard included. Great, four figures in the set. Um, nothing special, though, going on here. We have Tom Riddle's face as well as Harry Potter's torso. So wrap your mind around that, Harry Potter fans. Anyways, the hair here is in reddish brown, and he does have the same trank gun as the other guard. And then taking the hair off, you can see on the back, there is no back head printing, but he does have some back torso printing. There you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush. I think this is a fine set. I, I love that I have a Triceratops now. I have one sealed, but I've just never built it. The truck, I love the play feature. However, I think that the other truck in the other set is probably better. However, you are getting two exclusive figures in here. And like four figures, this big dinosaur for the price. I, I think it's not bad, honestly. I think it's pretty cool. Exclusive dinosaur, exclusive figures absolute win i think very solid set i'd love to hear your thoughts though what do you think of this set and if you want to i do have a playlist linked at the end here of all of the other jurassic world dominion sets that we've looked at already on the channel we have one left which is the other walmart exclusive so stay tuned for that i'll link that at the end here when i publish that video so you could see it hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day we'll see you all in the next one